<laughs> Welcome to the Games Conversation channel. Take a deep breath. <laughs> my name's Josh. And my name is Paul. I got my pretzel bites. From? And my, from Costco. Costco. Costco, if you're watching, I don't know how you'd do it, but sponsor us. I mean, <laughs> we'll take please. it. And my coffee. Which is also from Costco. Also got the Costco coffee. And we're ready to go with Metroid Prime. All right, so we are, we're in Fendrana Drifts. We're um, trying Doing to a, kind of track through, yeah, and do a cleanup, a, a collectathon. Deep scour. Because now we have all of our various mm, power-ups, I think. We're so, so powerful. We're just trying to come through and see what there is to get. But in the meantime, you were sharing about this Metroid... Graphic novel. Graphic novel. I keep wanting to say manga, yeah. but I'm not confident enough to use that word. What, what does it mean? Manga? I think yeah. it's just Japanese comic books. Japanese <laughs> you know graphic it's... novel. They're different. They are, I know. It's not. Somehow. It's a, it's a manga. Um, Hello, little fella. Remember these guys? Oh, yeah. Very well. I like these guys. Not the mama, though. The mama scares me. But the babies... <laughs> Baby, it's plasma. Plasma takes care of them right away. So, previously on <laughs> our conversation about this graphic so, novel, which for us was to moments Metroid, ago, but for you might have been a lifetime. It might have been months, <laughs> years even. Um. So, oh. Samus lost her mother. Samus's mom sacrificed her life to protect her from Ridley. Okay. Her father sacrificed his life to protect the entire galaxy from the space pirates having just a ridiculous amount of crystal energy to power spacecrafts and whatever you want. Um, and Samus is left basically in the woods on a planet by herself. Annoyingly, a different part of the planet, Ridley is basically dead on the verge of death um but the chozo receive uh basically like a, a, a sos right from the planet where when the space pirates initially attacked and so how long ago like what's the time do you know i think it's like the same day oh so they're like pulling out of the driveway and then so samus the, is calling them like come back so not samus samus is a three-year-old at true. the time she, so she doesn't know how to use space telephones yet right so driveway drive let's take it further like they're out of the neighborhood so they're not uh, there they don't know but the mining colony sends out a emergency request for help okay. to the gal Feder Galactic, Galactic Federation. Federation. Um, but so the Chozo receive that, so they come back to the planet, and when they arrive, it's been demolished. Okay. But they find Samus. And who's her Chozo friend that you... We said Old Bird. I, think I don't actually I'm pretty, know. I'm like 90% sure it's Old Bird. Convinces the Chozo, they're like, we, we have to take her with us. Oh. oh is this new? Yeah, so I'm just scanning things, trying to figure out ways I can use items that we didn't have at the time. And you were able to unlock this door. Yeah, which led to a missile. Very good. So, <laughs> very good. I think everyone else was like, we can't take this girl. Like, she won't survive on our planet. Mm. Like, we don't, we just can't help her. And Old Bird was like, we have an obligation. It mm. is our fault that they came. And destroy oh, the planet. Like okay. we, not knowingly, they didn't know the space pirates were tailing them. Right. So I like that. I never. So that's their motivation for adopting why her. Take Samus. Okay. Yeah. So they take Samus to their planet, and they were like, they already knew like the the planet does not sustain her life. Like it. Like, she can't survive there forever. Right. And so that is why they do some risky operation. Okay. Where they basically merge their DNA with her DNA. Yes. In hopes that it will allow her to adapt to the environment there. Yes. And okay. it's... It sounds risky. Fairly... It's, but it's successful. It works. Okay. Um... 
But not only does it allow her to live on their planet, but it also gives her some enhanced abilities where she becomes essentially the most powerful human being in the galaxy, right? Um, also, I learned about Mother Brain and Mother Brain's origin. Are you familiar with Mother oh. Brain's origin? Well, so vaguely, hold on. So you said they gave her DNA. Yeah. Is that it? Or is this when she gets the power suit, too? So I don't think she initially got the power suit. Okay. The power suit comes a little later. Okay. I keep, wasn't sure. Keep in that. mind, this was just a brief. This was me reading someone's, like, summary of it. This is you after having written your own PhD thesis on, <laughs> on the origins of Samus. Yes. The Galactic Fed. Galactic um, Federation. Uh, you said, oh, Mother Brain. So, Mother Brain, yeah, I have questions. Tell me what you know about Mother Brain. Well, I have questions, but what I know, what I think I know about Mother Brain is that she essentially controlled, she's like the leader of the Space Pirate Army, but at the same time uh, is Chozo technology. So I'm, my guess or my assumption is that the space pirates stole uh, like a mother brain, the mother brain, I don't know, and then used it. What's, tell me what you think. Incorrect. Well, wow. semi-correct. Wow. Okay. All right, what would you I like that you led with incorrect. Yeah, I though. wanted you to feel inferior. Yeah. So this, this guy, we had seen him previously, he had frozen water coming out of his mouth. And mm. as we know, the, the um, pl plasma beam mm -hmm. is great at unfreezing, unfreezing water. things. And then he, his hands opened up, I wanted to be clutched, yeah. yada yada yada, <laughs> yeah. here we are. Same old, same old. <laughs> you know, clutched. one thing led to another, oh, we got an artifact. <laughs> one thing led to another. Yep. Chozo artifact acquired. Artifact of sun. of sun. So now we're up to eight. So we're trucking. See, we only need four more. Yeah. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Lemon squeezy. Um, so mother brain. Oh man. I think I think when we play Metroid Prime Two. Uh huh. Well, I think before then, I think I'm gonna actually read the entire comics. Pardon me. Pardon me. Graphic mm -hmm. novel. Yes. And uh, that'd be cool, and be able to actually give a much more thorough mm. uh, explanation and so then answer your questions. If better. you're super dissatisfied with this explanation, look forward to our playthrough of Metro <laughs> Prime Two when things will get better. Um, but Mother Brain was created by Chozo and used for a very long time. <gasps> like they were really reliant upon Mother Brain. Um, some would say too reliant, which is it. Mm. Actually, it's kind of an interesting theme that we see over and over again, where even today, like our reliance on technology, uh, and now we have, you know, AI is like, yes. we're reliant upon AI. Look well, that's at, like the cautionary tale yeah, of so many like uh, sci fi movies. Yeah. So, Mother Brain Wally. actually. Wally, <laughs> I think Wally was the original. Like, yeah, I think Wally everything is based loosely based it's on the Wally. most frightening version of the story for sure. <laughs> um, I mean, it goes back. What is it like? Books like Foundation or um, Dune. Dune, like Dune, techno <laughs> like computers I don't that. exist. I haven't everything read back any around. of these things, but I can just guess at the wor the things you're gonna reference. <laughs> You know me so well. <laughs> but in Dune, no computer or technology exists because they had the robot wars. Because basically the technology decided to take over and fight against them. And now they're like, nope, can't do it. Mm -mm. Instead, they genetically altered humans to be like supercomputers in their brains. Okay. But anyway, so Mother Brain essentially turns against them. And Mother Brain is manipulating... And taking advantage of the space pirates, like so, the mother brain kind of uh, saw the opportunity to use the space pirates for her own doing, you oh, know, okay. like her own. Um, oh, so she, interesting. Okay, so she became like so she, aware. So and, she was like the villain. She became a villain on her own. It's not oh. like the space pirate stole her. Okay, I didn't realize that. And they decided to just follow her. 
I think so. Okay, interesting. I think it may have been initially like a tool. Uh huh. But she kind of, being the mother brain and being like, was able to manipulate her way into power. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. So the mother brain, uh, just to ask the question, if you if you're a mother brain, you know, kind of expert, I'd I'd just love to hear what yeah. you think. But um, so there's there's mother brain from like zero mission. And she shows up again in Super Metroid. And um, she does. How so? Uh, she does. Kind of like the way Ridley. <laughs> I, I like, that was such a pair answer. <laughs> I hate to. Um, the school. So the sky is blue. Why? Yeah, it because is. Because it is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she does. I mean, I oh, guess you don't want to give a spoiler. Yeah, I, I guess the answer is maybe that the space pirates rebuilt her or something like this. Um, or, or I guess, I don't know for sure. Maybe she could have rebuilt herself, hmm. you know? Um, she does. Yeah. Anyway, she comes back. She comes back there. And then in dread, uh -huh. as you know, we played, there were so many brains. Yeah. Right. And I don't Auntie know. Auntie brain. I don't. Yeah, granny step, brain. Stepmother brain. Oh, so you're, you're not, not my, my mom. Yes. <laughs> so I don't, I'm always still a little confused on what the connection is between those brains yeah. And Mother Brain. My guess is she created them to Or like help the Space Pirates armies. like figured out how to um You're giving the like Space replicate. Pirates too much credit. I am, you're right. I mean I've read their corporate memos, I know. <laughs> so this thing is No just more become, pets. I, this thing has become just a regular enemy now. That thing that we fought. Oh, instead of like a boss? Mama She Goth, yeah. Now she's just like, here I am. Oh, that's interesting. They trust us so much. And then her steps make you kind of bounce. So I need to figure out a way to get up on these rooftops. So you feel her steps? Yeah, like you literally like come off the ground when does, she steps. Does the, can that wall break? Do we need x-ray? Hmm. I don't want to get trapped in here. X-ray vision, x-ray vision. Nope. Oof. Uh, does your controller vibrate or does it just make you kind of jump up? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't necessarily feel my controller vibrating. So I guess it just makes you jump up. Mm. Oh, and then one more in Metroid Prime 3 corruption which we will eventually play mm -hmm. there are they're not referenced as brains but there are these things called like control units or something mm. and they look like mother brain they look like what if you put mother brain in the metro prime series but it's not it's not anything like very explicit and so i've been up here before uh, i actually don't know a long time ago if, if we had yeah i'm trying to i saw that spider ball track and then otherwise, I don't necessarily see anything that I'm going to get in here. But let me go back before every footstep she takes, it like bounces me around. <laughs> Watch it, you'll... Well, ah, yeah. That was her? Yep. That That's little... funny. I like that detail. So, so yeah, when we play Mo Metro Prime 3 Corruption, which obviously by that point you will have read the entire uh, graphic novel, graphic novel series... series. Mm -hmm. You will be able to tell us why the things in Prime 3 remind me of Mother Brains. Mm. Sound reasonable? Sounds reasonable. Reasonable? Okay. So I, I went into one of those buildings. Were there other buildings to go into? Hmm. I went into that it's a, one. It's worth a poke around. Pokey pokey. Would the map tell you? Mm, not not like that specific. Okay, I'm not seeing anymore. Oh gosh, right in my face. Whoa, she just goes. Eh. <clears throat> so many crates around here. They must use Fendrana as a lot of storage. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice and cool there, you know. Like some things have to be in. Refrigeration. Yeah, that's true. Wow, that guy. 
He left kind of like a bitter taste right there. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Ooh. The doors have been unlocked. You are free to move about, Fendrana Dreams. Mother Brain. So you've learned... That's a lot that you learned about Mother Brain, honestly. Yeah. Mother Brain. She's such a like an imposing kind of figure into the series. But Oops. ultimately... Um, like not present for a lot of it kind yeah. of like the metroids so that's another thing which i guess it's meant to be mysterious but somehow she controls the metroids mm. and i think that's why the space pirates needed her or wanted to work with her <laughs> wow you're really having a hard time i am wrapping my this brain idea around. about her being more than just a tool for the space pirates I really think they're giving the Space but, Pirates more credit than yeah. they deserve. Well, because, I don't know. I also, did you ever watch, or are you aware of the cartoon Captain N, the Game Master? Uh-uh. So it was this guy, I don't, he, he had a name, I'm sure. Um, he got sucked into his TV, obviously. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. and, the Power Glove or something? Yeah, well, that was, it became like a maybe a weapon for him or something. But he, he traveled with like... Mega Man and Kid Icarus mm -hmm. and Simon Belmont and um, and one and then the villains were also a mix. So there was King Hippo from Punch Out. Mm -hmm. There was um, Eggplant Wizard, I think, mm. from <laughs> from Kid Icarus, and then there was Mother Brain. Whoa! Yeah, but she so she was more like a literal kind of brain I mean she was big but she was brain in a jar with like eyeballs and lips and well, I wonder why they picked mother brain I don't know but she was like the kind of the real villainous leader of the whole group what's interesting is I remember maybe seeing a few episodes as a kid yeah and it's so it's interesting to make that connection like like oh that's what that oh. was yeah because I remember her and she had this kind of like, um, did you ever see Little Shop of Horrors, the movie? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I didn't, but I'm familiar with it. That well, plant. The plant, yeah. And the plant's name was Audrey, and it had this voice like, it always said, feed me. And that's, for some reason, what Mother Brain's voice was kind of like. This is very strange. It kind of sounds like they did a disservice to Mother Brain. For sure. Opinion. For sure. I mean, that show, while, you know, kind of a... A treasure of its time. It was mm -hmm. definitely a disservice mm. in general to a lot of things. Ugh. Splatter, splatter, splatter. So, I don't know. Have we found a lot so far? So earlier when we checked, we were at 64%. Yeah. What are we at now? 70-something. I guess I mean in Fendrana Drifts. Have you noticed uh, we found a lot? We've got a power bomb expansion and a missile expansion. Oh, and an artifact. So yeah, we actually have done. Yeah, we've done, done really good. good. Done a good bit. You done good, Paul. Mm. You done real good. You done real good. Uh, can I get? I don't know if I can get across without. Oh, actually, I saw spider ball tracks. Where were they? Spider ball. That would probably save me from having to do all of that. But now I don't see them. There it is. There it is. Way over there. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, <laughs> there you are. Hey, buddy. Here we go. Okay, can yeah. You, can you get on a spiral track in the water? Not in the water, no. I mean, at this point, I don't really need to, but it's nice to know. I mean, now I'm going to do it for sure, because I fell. <laughs> I love when they have these kind of smart shortcut editions mm -hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. It's unfortunate when you don't realize you should use them, but... Oh, incoming scan data. Unique Phazon readings. It's been a while since we've had... High levels of Phazon found on a mobile source. That's... That's a recipe for danger. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's back in the mines. But we'll get back there eventually. Don't you worry. I'm going to wheel around here and save, and then we'll start exploring the rest of these... These Fendrana Drifts. Fendrana was a place like we came to kind of in the middle of the game, like when we were fairly powered up, but 
Uh, not like we were still missing a lot of key things. Yeah, yeah. So I think there's a lot to kind of recollect in Finjana. Okay. Which, Let's as you it. see, we, we've already done, you know. Yeah. I love watching the the pulsing plasma. Yeah, like there's literal lava in her cannon, just yeah. like ready to just be fired, resting there, <laughs> inches from her face. <laughs> uh, let's see. We came from over there. How do I zoom? Minus. There we go. So it's all leads around. Um, I don't know if there's anything left in where he was. I want to say we got that. So I'm gonna go straight, and if nothing else, we'll double back that way. Sounds good. Make a sense. Oh, so this is Darksville, I think. Oh, maybe not. I really thought for sure. I think it will be though. Whoa, the lights are on again. Can we get the missile? Wasn't there something that you said we couldn't get in yes, the dark room? Yes, you're right. Um, I do want this. Ooh, they are all over the place. I like how the music is all of a sudden. The space pirate music. Mischievous. Mischievous. Something is a muck. They're not killers. They're just mis It's like gremlins. <laughs> well, well they, I guess they were killers anyway, weren't they? Never seen it. Thanks for ruining the movie for Oops, me, Paul. Sorry. So you know that part Rude. in Gremlins where they kill everyone? What is that? Looks like an exhaust. Something is like... Couple, uh, something is... Um, what is that? Oh, it's a gun. Turret? Yeah, I was like, why is that? Why am I locking on? Yeah, there is a part where the lights turn off, and there's a missile tank to get that we... Can we get it? I don't know. The lights are on now, which is strange to me, honestly, so we're going to see. We're going to see if we can see. Ah, see what you did there. So this was the first part of the game where we really ran into space pirates. Like, mm. we had seen kind of wounded space pirates right. and stuff like that, but this was like, you recognize you were entering kind of their base and... Yeah. Oh, man. So, we need... I wonder if this visor... No, that visor's terrifying. Well, it went from, like... It seemed, initially, like we were just going to battle the planet's um, creatures... Yeah, uh, kind of had like just kind of make our way through and yeah, take down like mute mutated things like giant plants that are poisoning yeah. the water and <clears throat> and then all of a sudden it's like oh no the space pirates are still oh gosh an active part of what we're doing here. I love taking them out like in one shot as they get to you. Um, did we read a lot of stuff in this room or somewhere Tons, around Tons, yeah. We did? Yeah, all these space I pirate Metroid. zones are very rich. Lore heavy, yes. Flyers. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that, that, um, that, here we go. Well, I don't know if I can just break it. Yep. The Chozo had hollow banners. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Like all their stuff was written on hollow banners, and that was like their mode of communication. Meanwhile, the um, space pirates they use like a lot of email communication and flyers. You know, it's like any organization. Yeah, you gotta have effective leadership. Figures out the most obnoxious way of communicating. That's right. Facts and. Doubles down on it. When I was a hall director, one of the things I would do every two weeks is create a newsletter for the whole building. Yeah. Hall director on a college campus. Mm -hmm. And you have your staff put it in, like, in the bathroom stalls mm. behind the doors. 
that was in addition to like bulletin boards on each floor. Yeah. And of course I send emails out. But I wonder if we found our way into a space pirate bathroom. If they would have like all a the stalls bathroom newsletter. Just completely covered by like this week we're gonna introduce you to the newest member of the Space Pirates. <laughs> Meet Jessica. <laughs> A, 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 uh, I'm trying to think of like some inconsequential college uh, degree. You know? A liberal arts major from Kentucky. I don't know. <laughs> I love that idea. If you have a liberal arts degree, I'm so sorry. But, um, <laughs> let us know in the comments what you're doing with it. Oof. I did not anticipate being bombarded by robots right now. Yeah, I can tell. I can, Is this the all? best way to view them? Probably. Probably definitely. <laughs> yeah? Uh, yeah, because it's pitch black. Is this the best way to view them? <laughs> I'd love to view them in a friendlier light, but I definitely can uh, I don't know what color that door is. White? Try them all. Not that one. Mm, purple? Uh, okay. That's the one. Oh, hologram room. <gasps> oh, this is a fun room. It was a fun room. I do remember that. I think we've get done what we need to in here, though. This is where we got the super missiles. So nothing, nothing more to see here. I don't think so. So maybe they, maybe Fendrana Drifts was kind of gracious to us, like mm. in not letting us miss, like not putting too much right. missable stuff in these sort of like space pirate hallways. Although it is kind of fun to go back through and feel just super extremely powerful. Extremely powerful, yeah. Super powerful, even. Were you supposed to sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger? Well, see, or? you knew who it was. I said, were you trying to sound like? But. You knew. Super powerful. Super powerful. You gotta work on that. I know it. Here we go. Here we go. Now where are we? Oh, we're in the West Tower, obviously. I could tell by the Duh. walls, by the wallpapering. Right? It has West Tower written all over it. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on the Games Conversation channel. If you've enjoyed today, please like and subscribe and... Ring the bell! Ring that bell. Also, be sure to comment below if you'd like an opportunity to win a ba -ba -ba. brand new, kind of, uh, Nintendo Power Metroid Prime Edition. I took good care of my stuff, we'll say that. Join us next time.